Okay, here's a bit of an advanced scenario. I have a workflow that every day goes through all of the users of my app and does a bunch of work for them. It generates some audio, it runs a lot of AI calculations, it uploads files to a server for each user, and then it checks every user to see whether they're subscribed to notifications and it sends them an email. And this workflow, each run can take up to seven minutes. And I only have a few users in my app. By the time I have hundreds of users, this is gonna take hours. And you can also see that uh, I'm running lots of steps and if I get just one error, it marks the entire run as having an error inside of it. I'd like to isolate those errors to individual users just to help me debug. And I want this overall thing to run faster. So I created a new version of this, where first I created a webhook triggered workflow called generate one, that given a single user email, just does the work for that user. It runs their AI calculations, it generates the audio I wanna generate, it uploads uh, their RSS feed, and then it optionally notifies them. And you can see the benefit here is that this thing runs in about 20 seconds. So each user only requires about 20 seconds of work individually. So if I just do it on a per user basis, I can do it much faster. Then to make it all work, I have a new scheduled workflow that every day, instead of doing the work for each user, it calls that webhook and it runs them in parallel. So you can see it takes about two minutes for this to kick off. I'm gonna click run, it goes through all of my users and instead of doing the work, it starts another workflow for that user. So if I go over to generate one, you can see already I have four active workflows, each working on one user of my app. And if I uh, refresh this view, you can see more and more are queuing up. And these each take about 10 to 20 seconds to run. So I'm processing my users in parallel and I'm basically making this workflow five times faster by splitting up the work. Instead of doing it all in one really large workflow, I delegate using trigger webhook to sub-workflows.